Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Friday. The weekend is here. The sun is shining, and it's an absolutely beautiful day. I hope that you've had a wonderful day as well, and I hope that that no matter what you're going through or what your day brings, I hope that you take the lessons from it and move forward and not dwell. Today, I wanted to talk about the importance of self-talk. Talk, you're, you're you talking to yourself inside of your head or however you self-talk. I self-talk out loud sometimes through my affirmations and uh, telling myself that I, you know, I, I, in the mirror, I tell myself that I, I love you, you know, you are enough and, and people laugh when I tell them that and laugh <clears throat> when I talk about affirmations and stuff. And when I say uh, people, I mean, a lot of the kids that I work with, um, you know, they, they're teenagers, they're young minds, they've been programmed and a lot of them come from a, a darker background. So they don't really, necessarily see the light but the power of planting seeds even though you'll you'll never see the the full tree or you know you may you may see the outcome of that seed later on in life by chance or happening uh or synchronicity but um it, it really is disheartening the things I, I discover that uh, the way people view themselves and the way people talk to themselves and, you know, tutoring, <clears throat> tutoring one of uh, the kids today at, at the school that I, that I work with, all I kept hearing is can't, I can't do that or I can't do this or I can't, 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 not possible. And it's so, so, um, it it's sad. It, it it hurts my heart to hear that because I know that that with self love and positive self talk that anything is possible and it, it's it's a difficult task to try to get people that are completely in the dark to to see the light and see that there are ways to bring the light to yourself through positive self talk and and you know as great as positive self-talk is, is we don't realize is the negative self-talk is, is just as powerful. You know, when you tell yourself you can't, you can't, you know what, you're right. You can't because you've got that limited belief of yourself. And it's just <clears throat> the programming that, that these kids receive or the lack thereof when they come from, from homes that aren't real nourishing and not full of love and, and riddled with drug addiction and abuse and just a lot of really low vibrational uh, happenings around them. <clears throat> it's so hard to, to get them to realize the power of these affirmations and the power of this self-love, you know, because they haven't really experienced love their whole life from, and many of them from the get go. Some of them are born as drug addicted babies and it, my heart goes out to them and that's why I work with these kids and that's why I share my love and light with these kids because that's our that is the human future you know and what what better way to make an impact as a positive role model than working with the kids and I absolutely love what I do and I people love yourselves you are enough you are perfect just how you are these things that are happening to you in your life are supposed to happen to you you spo you're supposed to take the lesson build on it and move forward and be kind with yourself and if you screw up which everybody does everybody there is not one person that's lived the perfect life you own it and move forward when we dwell and we stay stagnant in a lower vibrational happening and, and don't forgive ourselves, we are asking for disease and mental illness and, you know, you name it, negative things when you, when you focus on negative happenings will always stay, you know. The only way the light is going to come is if you make the choice. And that's what I tell these kids every day. It's a choice. It's a, 
everything is a choice. You know, I, a lot of these kids are discouraged because they're behind in school, but I tell them, you know, I, I didn't even graduate. I didn't even get to walk with my, with my, with my class in school because I, I dicked around in high school and I had a, had a lot of fun, uh, but I was irresponsible and I really put myself behind the curve as far as, uh, the, the programmed education and, and graduating. So, you know, when they find out, damn, Mr. Hayford didn't graduate on time, you know, but look where he's at. I can do it. I can do it. And, you know, part of that is being vulnerable as a leader. And that's one of the things we talked about and, you know, I've discussed with my videos, but the power of, of showing your vulnerabilities is, is so, so underappreciated as a leader because our toxic society views vulnerability as a weakness and it couldn't be any more far from the truth. Being vulnerable is just being your authentic self, good, bad, or indifferent, you know, owning your mistakes and, and letting your lessons maybe resonate with somebody else so they don't have to learn the hard way, which... <laughs> As many of us know, we prefer to learn the hard way because unless it happens to us, it can't happen to us, you know? <laughs> There's that can't word again, but anything is possible and, and negative happenings are, are proof of that. But at the same time, beautiful life occurrences are just as great of testament as anything that you can do anything with the right mindset and the right choices. And it, it's all in, in perception, you know, you can, you can view yourself as a failure or, or whatever, but you are still on this earth. The next moment of your life can change everything just by a simple choice. It's really that simple. It, choosing to be happy, choosing to forgive, choosing to be vulnerable, choosing to plug in whatever human label you want. But a positive choice in a tough moment, unlimited potential. You know, you start to open up those realms of, of endless possibilities. And you start to have hope. And you start to gain momentum. And you start to flourish. And you start to get rid of those, those negative self-talks, those negative self-views. And you start to really value yourself as a, as a beautiful soul and a beautiful human being. And, and today was a, a, a bit discouraging, not discouraging, that's not the word I want to use. A bit disheartening, you know. Um, we all have tough days and, and listening to these kids talk so poorly of themselves just really hurts my heart. But... Every day I go in there and try to shine my light and these kids see it. And, you know, it's so rewarding to to get feedback from these kids that, you know, man, Mr. Hayfler, you know, it, it strokes my ego, but it also makes my soul feel so pure and so whole, you know. Love yourselves, people, please. It's the only way you're going to raise your vibration and... and get out of the dark area that you're in is just forgiving yourself for whatever it is that you're letting hold you back. You know, if there's a traumatic event in your life and your past, go back and revisit that. Yeah, it's scary, but it, you know, it's essential to growing it. You know, you're not putting on a band aid and shoving it in the corner. You're pulling it out, looking at it and, and, and going through it going through it to heal and as you go through it you have that positive self-talk is yeah this happened or yeah I did this but man I, I love the the six-year-old me or the the 20-year-old me or whatever time frame that you were in when you made those mistakes or had those dark happenings happen to you you go back and you you shine light and love on that being because the past, present, and future all are in the now. And that's just with consciousness. So if you're conscious of those happenings and you consciously work through them, it moves that negative energy out of your being and allows you to be whole and allows you to be pure and a pure channel for, for God's beautiful, 
light, you know, it's, it's a really powerful feeling when you start to forgive yourself and you start to forgive those that hurt you. And, you know, you can forgive and not communicate with that person. Just forgiving somebody for doing something negative to you is releasing the shackles and the negative energy ties that that person created with you. And that's something that they cannot reconnect if you don't give them that power. And that's another thing I tell these kids all the time is they, they talk shit to each other and they try to tear each other down. It's like, man, we should be lifting each other up. Like we are all the same. You know, we are all humans. We are all beautiful souls. We should be lifting each other up and making this world a better place, not tearing each other down. You know, how does it feel when your brother tears you down? And they're like, oh, you know, you're right. You know, that does feel shitty. It's like, why would you do it to somebody else? It just doesn't. It makes sense to me because he, you know, a lot of a lot of people are broken and damaged from past happenings, and it, it's it's essential that we all come together. And, you know, every race, religion, whatever, we all have to come together and lift each other up, and and really, it starts within by loving yourself. Because once you love yourself, that love is abundant, and that love overflows, and you can share it with the world, and you can shine your light and. You know, even if you don't even have a, a human conversation, the the energy that you carry, even in the grocery store, or the the market, or wherever you are, people feel that energy. You, have you ever seen somebody that that's just happy? You know, and you're like, man, that motherfucker is happy. I wonder what he's so happy about. But it doesn't even have to be about anything. It's just love, flowing love through your being, and and that beautiful pure light that that makes up this reality and and that is of the god vibration so love yourself and shine your light however weird you think it may be you're right it's weird because we're individuals and we're all weird there's no such thing as normal because we're all fucking different so therefore by the definition of weird <laughs> that's all of us so fucking shine your weird who gives a fuck who gives a, you know, it's not your burden to carry the judgments that other people have on you. All they're doing is creating negative karma for themselves and holding themselves back. So kill them with love, kill them with kindness. <laughs> and then you can laugh. It's like, <laughs> man, I feel sorry. You can almost feel sorry for them for talking shit about you because you know how things work. So I'm going to keep raising my vibration. You do you, but I love you no matter where you're at, because I know we're all in different places. And I know that all I am supposed to do is be pure and I will be taken care of and, and lead from the heart. A wise man once told me, James, if you lead from heart center, you'll always be taken care of. And ever since I heard that, man, just love in life. It's a true leader. I'm grateful for you guys. It's a beautiful day. I'll cut this video off because it's long winded, but I love you guys and I hope that you have an absolutely magical weekend and I hope you fill it with positive self talk. No more can'ts. I can. I am the shit and I am pure and just shine, baby, shine. Have a great weekend, guys.